Hello, welcome to another edition of Demon Life. I'm your host, Andre Shine, with my guest, Assistant Director of the Career Center, Randy Washington. How are you doing today, Randy? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. So, what is the um, Career Center's main objective for students? Okay, so our main objective is to help students connect with their careers, and in doing so, we help them match their interests, their values, their belief systems, and we help them match that with their major, and from there, we help them find the career, the best fit for them. Okay, where is the um, Career Center located? It is located in the Freedman Student Union on the third floor in room 306. Um, are there like a specific availability for the um, Career Center that yes. students can reach you? Yes, um, right now our hours of operations are Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And then on Fridays we're open from 8 until noon. Okay. How can students get in contact with y'all? Y'all have email, phones? Yes, right now they can reach us either by phone, which is at 318-357-5621, or they can either email me at washingtonr at nsula.edu. Okay. Um, how how um, effective is the Career Center? Like, do students find help in it with like with resumes and finding careers outside of um, NSU? Yes, I would definitely say that it is very effective. We have many students come in for resume writing, mock interviews, and they do these things prior to getting a job. Um, honestly, right now we find that it is very helpful for them because many students often have trouble with getting that resume to look and represent them as best as it possibly can. So we help them with that. And then we also help them with the mock interviews because oftentimes communication skills are not necessarily where they should be. So we help them by offering them effective feedback so that whenever they do go into that interview, they make that great first impression. Are the students nervous at first when they do the mock interviews? Most definitely, they are very nervous. And a part of our process is we not only help students learn to identify ways to best answer questions, but we help them if they have anxiety or anything along those lines. Because I realize that if you go into a situation and you are aware of some of the things you do, whether that's talking with your hands or if you sweat when you're nervous, if you have different techniques to help you cope with those things and better prepare yourself, you're more likely to land that job that you desire. So with resume building, um, how do y'all go about helping students with that? Honestly, I usually have students go ahead and create a rough draft of a resume, whether they're using a resume template or they create one just in a Word document. And I let them know all of the information that they need to have on it. From that point, once they have everything on their resume, I'll tell them to either email it to me or they can come by and drop it off. Once they do that, I'll go in, I'll make some edits, revise it. From there, I'll either scan it and email that back to them or I'll have them come in, meet with me, and they can ask any questions and I'll go over it. Oftentimes, even after they make that first um, edit and make the changes that I've suggest suggested, they will usually come back and sit with me once again just to make sure that it's right because they realize that their resume is full of many errors. So. Does the environment in the career center, like, is it welcoming? Do students, like, feel comfortable talking to um, the counselors and all that? I will honestly say that as far as career services, they usually feel more comfortable coming in and talking with me about their paths or what it is that they want to do. Oftentimes, they may struggle with articulating what it is that they really want to do. But for the most part, our environment, it is very welcoming. I have recently rearranged some of the furniture, the setting, just to kind of make it more of a relaxing environment and so that they don't feel as though they're in a rush to leave. Mm -hmm. So I have couches and we have chairs and everything just rearranged just to make them feel more comfortable. Okay, how does the um, Career Center interact with students? Well, right now we host several career fairs. We have two annually. So there's one in the fall and then we have one in the spring. Along with that, we also have a teacher job fair. Now, the teacher job fair is open only to teacher candidates, seniors that are about to graduate. However, our other fairs are open to all students. So we encourage that participation from all students. I also go into the classroom, and in the classrooms, I conduct presentations. With those presentations, usually an instructor will email me, and they'll ask me to come in, do one for the class, and normally it's either on resume writing or interviewing skills. So that, those are some ways that we're doing outreach and also have social media websites as well. Uh, uh, Y'all have a Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook and all that? Yes, we do. Oh, what, we're um, on all of those. How can we follow you? Well, right now our Twitter is at NSULA Jobs, and both our Instagram and Facebook pages are NSULA Career Center. Okay. With um, the job fairs that y'all, well, yeah, the job fairs y'all have, is it like welcoming to all majors 
Or yes. do y'all try y'all's, y'all best to do it? Yes, we try our best to include all colleges, all majors, just to have different jobs for them. So we do try to be very inclusive. Okay. Um, what events are we expected to see in the future for the Career Center, other than the job fairs and stuff? Okay, right now I'm actually partnering with different departments here on campus just to kind of promote different events, bring awareness. So hopefully more workshops, maybe focus groups, group counseling for careers, just partnering just to bring more awareness about the jobs, the career paths students can take, things of that nature. Okay, I understand like the Career Center, like it, um, it helps students like find careers and stuff and build resumes and all that good stuff, but how is it with like, with students like dealing with issues like not finding what they want to do in life and all that good stuff? Well, I would definitely say that is often challenging for students and with my background as a counselor, I think it makes it a little bit easier because with my training, I'm able to use my knowledge to help them identify some root causes because sometimes it may be because their parents have been in that field for a long period of time so they feel it only necessary and only right to follow that same path. So sometimes a lot of it is working through any personal issues that may already be at the root cause to why they're choosing the major and from there I work with the student towards identifying that right major. Okay, so with your career, not your career, with your counseling um, background, um, I get, I'm guessing that like helps students like feel more welcome and, yes. uh, and comfortable like to talk to you because you know how to like dissect and you know right. talk to someone you know. I definitely would say the fact that I know how to facilitate a counseling session. Not saying that I treat each student and each session career guidance session as though we're actually doing mental health counseling, but I do treat each student unique as they are. Mm-hmm. And I believe that going in with that mindset that this student is unique, their background is as well, their reasons for coming in is also. So I consider all of those factors into providing the most effective services to our students. That way they'll leave feeling as though their needs have been met and we have accomplished something. After those sessions, do you feel, do you notice a change in your students that um, that come and see you? I would definitely say so. A lot of times I'll, they'll come back in and give a success story, thanking me for different reasons. I often even refer them to other resources that we have on campus because sometimes students are not able to stick with the major, not necessarily because it's not what they want to do, but it may be because of finances. Mm-hmm. So oftentimes it's just letting them know, well, here's another resource for you so that you can continue with this major. Don't just give up because you can't necessarily afford it. Right. So, What other resources do you recommend for your students? I would definitely recommend trying a type focus assessment, doing different assessments just to kind of figure out as far as your major. When it comes to financial reasons, there's the tuition hardship waiver for students. Of course, there are different requirements for that, but if those requirements are met, you'll receive a 10%, you know, check stating that, okay, so tuition, let's say it was $600. Mm -hmm. Um, Well, I'm sorry, let's say tuition was $4,000. You may receive a check for Mm -hmm. $400. So, any money usually helps students out a long way. There's also SGA loans that students can receive, so that's definitely beneficial. Okay. Okay, well. Well, thank, Brandy, I would like to thank you for your time and your answers, and hopefully this really helps someone that's watching, and I just want to thank you for your time. And this has been another edition of Demon Life with Andre Shine and Assistant Director of Careers Center. Thank you. Randy Washington? Yes, it was nice to be here. Thank you for coming, because I really appreciate it. You're welcome.